Leverage FOMO. We briefly went over FOMO earlier in the book. The fear of missing out is primal. And in the chapter, we will look at different ways you can leverage this fear to get people to convert to subscribers and then stick to your service no matter what. The FOMO offer. McDonald's can have the McRib year round and make a lot of money. But if the McRib is available all the time, McDonald's doesn't have an ace up its sleeve to predictably increase its revenue anytime it needs. But how can it do that? By having some of its products be limited time releases. Because it is a physical goods business, it could even do a limited quantity release, which we see with kids meal merchandise. But who is to say you can't do the same? Not only can you release limited time discounts on joining, but you can also release content that is available for a limited time. For the longest period, this is exactly what live broadcasting has done. After all, you can only watch a live event once, and Super Bowl has capitalized on this and, to this day, remains the largest advertising draw of all time. The NFL has even leveraged Twitter to create current conversations during the Super Bowl, so people comment on ads while they play. This has made the ad breaks during the Super Bowl as much of an unmissable event as the live sport. The FOMO habit. Why do we log into Facebook every day? Some of us don't feel good after scrolling through our Instagram feed, but that does not stop us from pulling our phones every few minutes. The culprit is FOMO. We have a fear of missing out on what's happening. With exclusive content, you can leverage this fear to make your audience stick around. When TV was the only way to watch shows, many cable networks had a next-on epilogue to their show's episodes. They wanted to make sure that you stuck around. Netflix encouraged binging content, and so most of its original shows end with cliffhangers. Just to see what's happening in the next episode, you continue watching. To facilitate this, Netflix offers to help you skip credits of the episode you just watched and the intro of the next one. You want to adopt this, but more importantly, you want to make sure you have episodic releases that keep people waiting for the next week. The FOMO Club The Met Gala is one of the best examples of genius unconventional marketing. When Anna Wintour took over the organization of the Met Gala, the Vogue editor-in-chief actively worked to turn it into a celebrity prestige conversation piece. As a result, celebrities would go to the ridiculous costume party with the most absurd attire just to be included. Outside of this context, you couldn't even pay them to wear these outfits. You can leverage this need to be in the club by creating exclusive groups where people can discuss the content and make memes about it. This will trigger a fear of missing out on the insider jokes among people who come across the discussions and the memes.